Okay. This World Cup, Marc Gasol leans over the defense. Three of that criticism in this tournament. Coming yes. in, shooting 48 quick hands, and now Rubio hands it off, and Aaron Gomez! And so goes to Juancho. You see the lefty finish. Dellum goes. And he drives in and banks it in. Misses, but the, well, it's Joe Ingles that comes up with the basketball. Gets it away. Rubio, no hesitation, off the back of the iron that time. Now brings it back out to Patty Mills. Patty Mills pulls up and banks it in. Rubio on his back, then he loses it out of bounds. Rubio, just in this tournament. Mills, zigzag. Aaron Gomez, good! It's called for the defensive foul on the other end, trying to... Process sometimes, he's far more important now. Ingles goes out of the game, and then Chris Gould's in. Yeah, Ingles going to the bench. They like to kind of let him play. This time an air ball. And it is indeed... Rubio's going to inbound the ball to Aaron Gomez. And it's another one! Golding gets it right back for Australia. That's his reputation. Claver battling for position. And Rubio. Aaron Gomez gets his hands on a lot of balls. And you can see the three-pointer on the other end. Field against the Czech Republic in the quarterfinal. So good to see his first shot go down. Rubio goes behind the back. Puts it up. What a fit. Fame, Pau Ribas, Sergio Yule. Or as some people did. Great story. Mills, short. And has to guess all, and he's blocked from behind and foul. Still averaging double digits in the World Cup. First world title. Of course, his brother Pau gets all injured and unable. And Boga gets inside, gets it to go. Just going to take advantage of that matchup. But he misses. Nick K couldn't have done anything. Front and back of the rim, stays out. Open, puts it on the deck, goes off one foot. Ingles, back to Bogan for three. K getting his first breather. So it's Della Vadova. For Australia. He wears the name of his mother on the back of the well, if you're going to have anybody at the line for Australia, you want it to be gold. I mean, together they shoot 81% from the free throw line and 40% from three. See less than 80 in all the games, so maybe that magic number today will be 80. Into the hands of Pau Ribas. And Ribas training with Spain back in 2017, and here he is at the World Cup. Della Vadova for three. Will it be a second? Already knocking down three three-pointers. Here's Yule right at the strike. Bounce pass. K or both. Yule has it knocked away by Ingles. Well, Australia can pretty much hold it for one shot. Unless Spain uh, force a turnover here. Back in. And give Goulding a break. Yule. Good at those last second shots. And Mary. In the first quarter. Olga Shaheen calls the famous basketball super fan in the crowd. K left wide open in the corner. K facing the pressure, doing a little bit too much dribbling, perhaps. Quick pass to K. And goes up quickly and scores over the rebound. The D by K. Spain possibly could. And Ingles has to be careful. Shouting. Spain, although Rubio has had a phenomenal tournament. Traveling on Mitch Creek. Good defense by Victor Mills from deep. Now both teams misfire. Mitch Creek open four. Yeah, I think Australia will live teams on the last several possessions. Their defense mess goes up and we saw the Spanish defense. We saw Spanish offense. Like you said, somewhat. And these Australian players have every reason to come out today strong, and they guarantee a podium finish for both of these teams. It would be a podium finish. And a push by Creek. 
Well, Spain able to get the, the main stars of any sport of the entire Olympics back in two. Mills goes up and banks it in. Chance. Donovan Mitchell still in the tournament with the team, uh, but into the starting lineup for Australia in the buildup. We're finding him, and now he finds Creek. He can't finish at the basket. Creek does a. Turner Gomez and watch Turner Gomez uh, commits the foul as well. open floor where he's at his best. Bounce pass to Claver. Well, that's back to back fouls now. Leaves Ingles wide open. Rubio sinks the short, knocking it away. Delavadova short. Good deal. Javier catches it down low and gets the contact from Bank. First round the NBA, his NBA career never really took off. The Portland game is victory over the United States back in 2006 in the semifinals. Oh, nice pass. Well, that's the problem. So great Australian defense in the second quarter. Ingle puts it up. Rubio out to Gasol. He can hit that. Through his elbow and looks like he might have caught Rudy Fernandez in the baseline. That's a couple of times now where they've uh, forced turnovers. Lewis, look at the pick set by Gasol. Then Rudy follows up the miss and gets it to go. Court. Patty Mills from the right drills the three. Rubio goes between the legs, puts up another one from deep. And a three-point shoot. Final minute of the second quarter. Clogs. Bogut forcing the issue. That's all. Still can't get it to go. Spain just four of 16 from three-point range. And foul called on Delavadova. Player in their Asia Cup win in Lebanon two summers ago. Nick, uh, at least uh, a few. Up at the stripe. And Gasol goes up for the rebound. They lead it. 37-32, Ludes. Aaron Gomez. Mills pulls up on the break, and it was too hard. But both teams dodging bullets. Three-pointer, and gets it to go. Yeah, Mark Gasol probably had a talk with himself at the halftime locker room. And five quick points for the big man. Right back to a one-possession game. And that best pass was a tough one for Delavadova to catch. Here comes Spain, Jeff. And now chance of Espana, Espana uh, being heard throughout here with the starting five out here for the second half for Spain. Mills back to Baines, open for three, and he's not going to stay quiet either. Or he points to three fingers right at Gasol. Able to answer him down the three pointers. Five of 20 from deep for Spain, set of 19 for Australia. Now the ball goes off Baines. Della Vidova gets to the Ingles. Now he's got a break. And his pass. Well, he was trying to get it going, but uh, threw it behind Landale. You don't often see that. Joe Ingles off target with the pass. Clash, clash here between uh, Asia's finest, or Oceana, if you will. So they've qualified for the Olympics as the Oceana team already. And uh, a European giant in Spain. Now the ball in the hands of Mills. And he just takes all the way. Yeah, Fernandez caught in no man's land. You gotta respect the fact that Patty Mills can pull up from free in transition. That time goes straight to the rim. Aliyu pass, and it goes over the head of Wando, but he hustles, gets it back. Now Rudy from the right. And the follow, and are they gonna tap it in? The tap from Club Air. Five on four here. Ingles. And Landale called for a push. And with the other end, Clavier was slow to get up. See a three, but so far they counted as two. 
Paul Pogashin, he signaled that he had, had touched it. With a quick pass. And watch where Aaron Gomez couldn't quite get there. Ball gets out of bounds. Well, you can already feel the tension starting to build with every possession. Again, Spain needs to capitalize on as many opportunities as possible. They're kind of unforced turnovers. Mills from deep. He goes down. He will get three free throws. Well, you've seen it over and over again at all levels of basketball lately. Fernandez saying that Mills kicked his leg out, but he didn't give him room to land. Mills makes a smart play, just, just falls. I have no choice. They're inviting the contact. Uh, that's how good of a shooter Mills is. Mills today has uh, hit a couple of three pointers, two of six. And now he has a chance to uh, take that lead up nine points. Wow, he hasn't missed many of those. 90% free throw shooter. Sure. Into this game. Patty Mills, the only player to score over 15 points in all of well, seven games for Australia. This one cut. Of course, they are a physical team, but so are Spain. This is two of the three free throws. But Australia gets the ball back. Pass over to Ingles. And he's fouled by Gasol. He just looked away. Yeah. Has meanwhile has three fouls. As does Juancho and Gomez for Spain. So Spain up yesterday. He just moves at a you know, higher motor than everyone in the court, it seems. So quick. Coming off screens and slip. Oh. Gasol comes over and swats K. Well, that's why the former defensive player of the year in the end. 4.2 seconds of the shot clock. Delavadova gets it in to Baines, and he gets blocked by Gasol out on the perimeter. Now Rubio over to Yule. Yuri puts it up. And K rebounds. Delavadova blocked from behind by Rudy, Rudy Fernandez, but then the ball ended up going in. Well, if it's that Another. kind of night for Australia, that was a fortuitous bounce by all accounts. The basketball gods smiling on them a couple of times. Biggest lead of the game, nine points for Australia. Rubio is behind the charity stripe. Nick Hay rebounds it. Patty Mills pushes it quickly, avoids the foul, and passes back to Goulding. Nick Kay thought about it. Excuse me. And now Baines. Goulding. And takes it in. And was that a pass? Wow. Now he's going to come back into the game for Della Vadova. By the way, that last, that one play where a little bit Marcus Saul tipped it in. They gave the basket to Patty Mills. So he's now got 19 points on the game. Came in averaging 22. So you'd expect him to surpass that. And just one of two for him. Uh, Yule. That's Spain's first miss from the foul line. No rebounds in the game, Gordon Goulding. Here's Mills. Puts up another. And Bogan battling for the board. The ball knocked into the corner for rebounds for Spain. And then Yule drips it off. Tries it behind his back and dribbles it off his heel. And now bounds. Uncharacteristic. You know, we're used to seeing him play at such a high level. He made his debut with that senior team back in 2009 in Poland. 
helping Spain win the title that year. And Hernan Gomez, uh, knowing the bounce pass is coming, so he was able to stick leg out. I'm really impressed with Australia's defense, though. You know, they've played in a few shootouts. Obviously, that classic game against France. In the second round, winning 100 to 98. But this one, it's been uh, all about their defense, making it very tough for Spain offensively. Fernando guarding Mills with a shot clock about to aspire. So Mills launches it, clangs it off the back of the rim. In point lead for Australia. Gasol. Much more like it for Mark Gasol. He's been the key in his third quarter, keeping them in the game. You see him sagging off Bogut. Now Bogut not even thinking about shooting it. And now a push on Bogut. And Willie, Aaron Gomez, for you in the game right now. Just a pick and rolls. Yule throws it up high off the glass. And his bank attempt is no good. And now Ingles, Australia, looks down low. Passes it back outside to Goulding. And he's fouled by Rivas. Goulding on the right. K was being boxed out by Ribas, and Ribas calls the foul. Was that excessive boxing out? Yeah, he had the inside position, but the way the ball bounced off the rim, K was just able to get to it easier. Now he'll head to the free throw line, where he's yet to miss a free throw in this World Cup, but I don't know why I would say that before he shoots. You want to jinx him, and you failed. Some of the Australian fans looking on, hopefully, prayerfully. The, the team, uh, perhaps 12 and a half minutes away from playing in the final. The way this is going. And the lead now goes to 10. The Spanish team can heat up. Rubio. After just two throws in the first half, We've got a yeah. few more. But Ingles, Ingles with uh, yeah, unnecessarily fouling Rubio. Rubio laughs, knowing his former Utah Jazz teammate took the bait. Points for Rubio now to go with his five assists and three boards. This is where he made his senior team debut. In fact, there's a big tournament at the uh, Beijing Olympics for Ricky Rubio. You see this pressure in the backcourt. Four Spanish players look to trap. Denying double dove the ball. We're also forcing Australia to. Uh, a lot of time off the shot clock before initiating the offense, and then it leads to a turnover. Golding spun, just lost it. Now pass to Yui. Here he comes. Off for him. Aaron Gomez turns, and Baines had it in his hands, but did not control it. And again, another opportunity for Spain, and Rubio misses. Again, another opportunity. This time, Yule, and he hits the three-pointer. Now Ingles, back to Mills, off one foot, and good rebound, K. Wow, what a putback that was. Well, K was wide open, Mills missed him initially off the drive, but he stays with the play. And now K, a quiet 12 points and six rebounds off the bench. Huge contribution from the big man. He is switched onto Yule. Ribas right at the charity drive. Right. 
Now Mills in final minute of the third quarter. Baines hit one from there tonight, not that one. And that'll be same possession. Well, that rebound was up for grabs. No one went for it. He played in Spain's 2006 uh, World Title winning team. Of course, had that huge final against Greece. Now the president of the Spanish Basketball Federation. And Rubio gets rejected by Baines. And Australia will try to hold it for one. Good timing. Rubio thinking there was a goal in her pass. She needed a couple time out. On the floor for Spain. And Rubio fouled as he got into the paint. Pretty good chance this team is going to go up there and tap in. Here's Rubio now. And gets the first one to go. So his numbers keep going up, up, and away. 14 points. Five assists. Four steals for Rubio as well. Don't forget that. But takes it back up top. Ingles quickly back to Della Vidova. Landale from the rock corner. And great job by Della Vidova. That's a good rebound. You know Landale can hit that shot, but you wonder if that's the shot they want to be looking for. Just so with Gasol out of the game. Maybe try to attack. Vadova hands it to Landell, and again, Bogut there from follow this time does not. And yeah. well, I'm just glad he's okay. Well, that goes without saying. Of course, here's Rubio. Pulls up, decides to pass it back to Claire, and he passes, and the ball goes off Aaron Gomez's hands. However, wow. knows it swung off of Australia's hands. Well, Hernan Gomez walking the other way. And again, the quick hands from Mills. Denies the inbound pass. You can sense it. They're able to take the lead. You open it up. A big shot. Rebounded. The miss by Bogut. Of course, both these teams undefeated so far at the World Cup this year. Mills pro no look to Landale, takes his time, misses. Ernan Gomez came in and look at getting on the ground, Della Vitova. And now Ingles goes towards the baseline and is fouled by Claver. And Mandel goes out. Although I'm not sure if Kate, he was before the game, Kate was going to be the second leading scorer for Australia. And they'd be in this game, the lob. And they get the bogus. Great execution, the back screen set by Patty Mills to free up Bogut. And Ingles delivers another beautiful pass. And you're right about Bogut. He's putting up the stats, isn't he? Getting a lot of stuff inside. Now Fernandez gets to Darren Gomez. And puts up a very difficult shot. Follows. And how long? Well, they're going to mark this whole back into the game. Ooh, now, screen from K, crack back on oh, Riba in the backcourt. Oh, nice pass. And K lays it up and in. Here come the Aussies. And Gasol back in the game as well. Riba goes behind his back. In the paint, trying to make the pass. Good job by Pogut to deny it. But then Gasol gets it again. This time he does score. That could have been three seconds called. Gasol seemed to be in pain for a little while, holding up Della Vidova. Rebus fouls Mills as he crosses midcourt. Three fouls on Powell. Bogut at the other end, and they're going to call goal interference. Well, they hit the rim as they went for the tap off. It's been a Point of contention, as they yes. say, this tournament. Yes, a little bit of controversy with the France-Lithuania game with Gobert hitting the rim late in the contest. 
Dying on Lithuania point on the missed free throw. Rubio back to Mark Gasol for three. Good! That's what they need! Too much room. Bogey sagging off. And Gasol, especially from the top of the key, is just able to line it up and knock it down. 16 points for Mark Gasol. Eagles. Wants to get the ball to Mills, but Power Rebus not giving him any space. And now Bogut is tied up. Great job, Pau Rebus defensively. Shot clock about to expire. Ingles has to let it fly. And K somehow gets the rebound. The unsung hero of this game, really, Nicholas K for Australia. The star man, the qualifiers coming to the four. Here's Ingles. Hands nice it off cut. to Mills. Wow, that's uh a great sequence of events for an Australian fan. And they get the second chance opportunity. Patty Mills, 20 points now. Ingles only has two points, but those eight rebounds and six assists have been so key. Rubio Gasol. Rubio open for three. Oh, build him up. He hasn't been knocking him down today. Now Mills. And Ingles, good job by Rebus, got a hand on that. And now Ingles fouls Rebus from behind. That is the second team foul on Australia in the fourth quarter. Aaron Gomez, uh, Wancho Aaron Gomez comes back into the game along with Yule, Rubio, and Javier go out. Rubio struggling a little bit with a shot today. Five of 16 from the floor, including one of seven from three-point range. I think I jinxed him at the start. Yeah, I mean, he's not been afraid to take them. Just hasn't been able to make them. You're a poet. Did you know it? Here's Gasol again. To the mismatch on Creek. And goes up and scores. Great job, Mark Gasol. Kind of get the feeling right now their hopes ride with, uh, with him, but they've got to get stops. Well, it's officially a clutch game. Five points under five minutes. It's Creek. Looks like he might take an extra step, but there's Nick K once again. It's like they're forgetting about him, leaving him wide open underneath the basket. No box out. Go back to Gasol. Powell Rebos, he said, go! Powell Rebos! Back to a four-point game now. And you see Sergio Yule all over Patty Mills, face guarding him. Okay, over to Ingles. Back to Kay. He's open for three. Goes in and out. And Juan Gomez with the rebound. Spain now can close the gap to one with the three. The pick set. Yule explodes that way. Spain have closed the gap to two. And Lamont's in the second half. You heard of the timeout. The pick and roll coverage is something that Australia wants to lock in on. Rebots defense has been big and late for Spain. Delavidova, a little turnaround. Maybe not a, a great shot for Australia, but Spain's defense picking up. Spain can take the lead with a three. They nod it with a two. Yule. He switches on to him to watch. And now fighting for position and an offensive foul. Oh, there's a. They can talk about it. Yeah. They can't help it if he's tall. They're walking the other way. And it's from Marbury watching uh, from his court side seat. Seen Stephon Marbury, Kobe Bryant, also NBA Commissioner Adam Silver in the house. And I believe Manu Ginobili will be uh, around for the Artina game. Della Vidova, again, closely guarded by Kyle Rebos, who's been a real terrier on defense. 
Pat Mills for three. And the follow. But they have called the foul while attempting the three, so that's not going to count. Well, you saw three players from Spain contesting the Mills three-pointer. And once again, Hernan Gomez. On Hernan Gomez had such a great start to the game, but wasn't really able to sustain that level of uh, performance. And uh, Mills goes to the line to take it back to a three-point lead. Yeah, these are three huge free throws for Australia. Mills, who's just been on a tear of the World Cup. Scoring 20 plus five of the last six appearances. And Spain, who were so close to regaining the lead for the first time since the second quarter, early in the second quarter, seemed like an opportunity slipped away with that offensive foul. Yes, it did. So three points for Mills. The last time that happened, he only made one of the three free throws. And it's back to a five-point lead for the Boomers. Gasol thought about putting up the three. Here he is taking his side, but loses control of the ball. So, so the zone defense from Spain as they do a box and one on Patty Mills. And Delavadova's pass goes off the hands of Baines. So we've seen that defensive look on a number of possessions in the same half. Kind of a 2-2. Two, two. Two guys in front, two guys in the back, and then boxing one. Just Sergio Yule face guarding Patty Mills. And Spain beat Australia by a single point. Bronze medal game of the Rio Olympics. It left the Australians to a man of tears. Here they are. And doing battle again is Ricky Rubio fresh off the bench. And cutting the deficit to three. Australia can't shake Spain. Really focusing on Mills, of course, is Baines. And, well, Omar Bermuda is the Mexican referee, calls the charge. The pass was made over the defense, and when it landed, uh, Spain had to... Goes behind his back, gets it back to Gasol, lays it up and in! It's a one-point game! What terrific execution! What a set half for Gasol. Mills to Ingles. And they get it to Kay. And Kay this time, because of Gasol's presence, tried to go to a reverse layup. He missed. And now Spain can take the lead. Oh, quick and foul. That is four game fouls now on Australia. Spain led by five points early on. But since then, Australia... With he and Mills, the best players for Australia in this tournament. This has been Mark Gasol's second half. He has owned the game. Now Rubio puts it up. Offensive rebound, Rudy Fernandez. Now to Gasol. He thought about launching the three. Gives it back to Yule. Yule over three, puts it up, and Bogut with the rebound. Boy, Woo. last minute. Australia dodged the bullet there, and Delapdova decides to launch it, and Nick K with an offensive rebound, and the ball handed back off to Mills. Oh, great defense from Fernandez. And that's what he's done his entire career for Spain, Rude Fernandez. And obviously both teams in the penalty, so a foul would need free throws. Well, Delevedo with a hand check. Now Yule passes it back outside to Gasol. Now Yule has it. He's been in this spot so many times in his career. He ties into the lane, puts it up on the glass. And a foul pushing off called on Bogut. Oh, With wow. 8.7 seconds remaining. And Mark guess. But he's just been 68% before coming into this one. Well, Australia has got a box out. And nevertheless, what a moment for Marcus Saul. And there was no doubt about it, folks. That was going 
in. He has not the game at 70. Right. Missing the Australia will call timeout to advance the ball if he makes it. Hassan makes the second big time from a big time player. You want to get it to Mills. Do. Mills drives in and takes the contact. And Ocatelli, the Brazilian referee, calls the foul. And you have to say, you attack the basket, usually good things happen. Even if it's Pat Mills, who gave up a lot of inches there. Well, so much con. And now Patty Mills, who has been on fire from the free throw line coming into the game 90%, but he has missed two in the semifinal. And no timeouts for either team as well. What a moment for the man. Will not be able to advance the ball if he makes the second. Mills takes his time and sinks the first. And Rubio goes in there and says, listen, we got to focus here. I'm sure what Rubio was saying to the ref. I can only imagine. And he missed the second. Now Rubio with a chance to win it. He puts up for mid -core. Oh! It went in. It hit off the glass. Remember that one? Were you aboard that? I'm not there. Okay. It was a classic. Yes, it was. <laughs> now Mills. Back to Ingles. Ingles oh. throws it into the hands of Rudy Fernandez. Seems like he got hit in the eye. He's got to shake it off. Now Yule hands it off. Gets all lays it up. Spain in front. A great two-man game action between Yule and Gasol. Mills has batted, but Delavanova gets it. And good box out by Gasol. And that's Australia has gone hold in the second half. They're going up down two threes. Spain with the momentum. Rubio back to Gasol for three. Good! That is the response by world champion, folks. He is playing like it tonight. Mills for deep, and he answers with a three. That's a huge response from Patty Mills. Seems like it was slipping away a little bit from Australia. Back to Gasol. Will it be two in a row for him? No, it will not. And K beats Rubio to the ball. Now Mills again. In and out. Delavadova though gets the K. And Australia nodded at 76. Wow. Well, Rubio's down. Feel like he got pushed in the back. Delavadova making another hustle play. Also, his ninth, Nick K. 18 points and 10 rebounds. Unbelievable performance. What a story. Of course, K is for the Perth Wildcats. Rubio bounce past the cover for the two-handed jam. What a way to pick up another double-double for Ricky Rubio. His 10th assist. He's been the MVP for Spain throughout the tournament. Showing why there. Mills thought about Chin. Instead, he takes it. And he hustles and bats the ball out. Della Vadova. Ingles. And get the block. And that might be... How many is that on Rudy? Number four. Four fouls on Rudy Fernandez. For a couple shooter from the foul line. <laughs> You're doing your best to jinx the bar. Sharing the stats. That's all I'm doing. Will be the commentator's curse. Eagles. Oh. That's his first point since the first quarter. He does have nine rebounds and six assists, but they need his scoring in this overtime period.
Ties it up at 78. by Mills now. Shot clock down to six. That's all. That's the pick. Yule has to put it up. Oh, it goes in and out. Unlucky for Yule. There's an uncanny ability to bring rain with that shot. He makes it a lot tonight. Now, Trent Mills. And now the ball. Good pressure by Ruby. Yet again, forcing the turnover. And yeah, Mills kind of a... Back of days ago, pass out of the trap. Not in 78. Oh, and Rubio. And they have called the charge. And it's Locatelli raising up his saying Rubio raised. So again, the zone look defensively boxing win on Mills. Bogut in the game, Baines on the bench. Quick pass to K. And followed up his miss. Passes it back to Della Vadova. Della Vadova left without anywhere to go. And now Fernandez take away. Spain in the open floor. And Yule brings back out. Probably a good decision by Fernandez as Australia got back on defense. And Yule to Gasol. Good defense from Mills. He gets the pick. Gasol open for three. Off front of the iron. Boy, that was a shot he would have paid for. Remember we said first to 80, Jeff. Mills. No look. Over to Ingles for three. And Bogut just able to get the ball to Deladova. Now he gets it back. And Deladova limping. Mills puts it down. Great job, Gasol. And they're calling him with a kick, That's which means huge. there'll be a new 14. And possession Australia with chance. 16.3 seconds remain, and they've put a new 14 on the shot clock. Now Fernandez turns back and tried to deny to get it spoken. And Pat Mills, oh, quick foul, quick whistle. No hesitation. Well, Mills, if he makes both free throws, or if he makes one of two. I almost wonder if Australia might foul Spain. Nah, they'll play defense. You gotta trust your defense. Here's Mills. This is a large part of the story today. Not only with his overall scoring, but his trips to the free throw line. He was six of nine before that. Now he's seven of ten. And then and some of the Australian fans overcome with emotion for watching this. On the cusp of what would be their most famous ever victory in a FIBA basketball world cup. Mills makes both and takes it up to a two-point Yule. And over to Gasol. And Rubio has it. Now he's gonna penetrate. No, he's gonna get it. And they're going to get it inside to Gasol, and he's fouled by Della Vadova. So free throws yet again for Mark Gasol. Well, they switched the small and big screen, so that's going to be two free throws for Mark Gasol. Well, how many clutch free throws can he make today? <laughs> he's already hit a bunch. Six of six in line today. 27 points, 4.6 seconds remain. If you're Spanish and you're pulling for the Spaniards right now, you're as nervous as will get out. And once again, Gasol is just pure. Yes, a machine-like perfection. Both free throws, Mark Gasol, who without a doubt will be the VP of the game for Spain if they can win. Well, 
course, full court pressure. They're going to probably double team Patty Mills here. And Australia just have to make sure they get the ball in, run the baseline. Okay, hands it off to Delavadova. Delavadova has to put it up. And we've got double overtime. Game we've had in the history of the World Cup knockout stages. Bills drives in, and the tap is good from Bogut. I think a certain Dirk Nowitzki played in a couple of overtime. I think, in fact, triple overtime against Angola back in 2006. Yeah, that was a preliminary round, I believe. Yes, it was. Germany won that. Triller. Here is Claver. Clutch by Victor Claver. Nice he finds an opening. Oh! And the challenge from Claver, I think, may have affected the shot. Now Rubio. Outside, wide open. Yule for three! Ricky Rubio finding the shooters yet again. And I'm just really impressed. Even though Petty Mills does have 29 points, he's had to work for every single one of them. Ingles over to Delavadova. He's open. Rinse out. And Fernandez and Kay and Tangle both get up. Run back to the other end of the court. Spain now with an opportunity. Rubio. They switch again. And there's Gasol. He catches it. He, had, he was right behind Patty Mills. Mills could do nothing. And with 3.15 remaining now, Gasol 31 points. In Spain by five. Rubio, 12 assists. Continuing his fine play. Dangerous pass. So, Delavadova's going to go out. Chris Goulding is going to come in. Mitch Creek is coming in for K. And Goulding has been sitting for a while. Puts up a tough shot. Good defense by Yule. Spain, all the momentum now. They've got to get stopped now, Australia. Rubio. Again, great defense by Bogut to the hand on that pass to Gasol. Mills over to Golding for three. It's too long. Like you said, he's been sitting on the bench for so long. It's tough to just come into double overtime. Game like this and knock down the open shot. Rio to the corner. Claver pump fake. Passes back to Gasol. Now Yule for three. Oh! Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, he had a stop and a block called on Creek. So it's a Rubio to the line. He hasn't missed today. Let's see what's and you know what the free throw game is so important and Spain have excelled in this aspect of the game today 16 of 17 now and look at those numbers for Rubio outstanding Spain by seven for two minutes to go 150 in fact Pass to Mills and Funk goes out of his hands and then Claver fouled by Mills. Really you just feel with the body language and the looks from Australia that they they feel like it might be game up. I mean it really they've survived so many close games in this World Cup. Australia, but right now it's looking like their time might be up. And Victor Calvera, just again, a wonderful story of perseverance for him to come out. Just a vital member of this team in so many ways. He makes one of two. He throws now Creek. And the 
ball slips the Baines' hands. Here comes Rudy Fernandez, and he's not going to go in. He's going to pull back out. The cracks have shown for Australia here in the overtime, the second overtime. 124 to go. Seen leading by eight, wanting to take time off the clock. Now Gasol looks at the shot clock. Baines gets the rebound. Clock now the enemy as well for Australia. And he gets blocked Goulding as he takes it up against Gasol, who has just been uh, an amazing force tonight for Spain. Ingles has passed on a few shots, takes one here, in and out. Ingles just one of nine from the field, Jeff. Rear miss at the line today for Spain. Australia led by as many as 11 points in the game today. Deuces for Rubio. A bit of hope for Australia. Mills pulls up from deep. And knocks in a three. And he gets it back five. The pressure in the backcourt here. Well, you can foul Rubio, don't you? you just miss who? Oh, they're going to play D, it looks like. You don't want to foul now. You've let so much time go off the clock. Let's the trap here. Four. Three on the shot clock, two, Yule, overtake Gasol, wide open, good, right at the end. Oh, Gasol signaling, game over, we'll see. Goulding misses badly, and Spain are going to win. They're going back to the final of the FIBA Basketball World Cup, winning a double over. Chạy đi ra ngoài. Ông đi làm về 